monkeypox, SARS, West Nile. These new illnesses are all viruses, and they're all zoonotic diseases, ones that normally live in animals and have somehow jumped into people. 25 years ago, HIV was an obscure virus that evolved from rainforest monkeys. Today, some 40 million people are infected. Could one of these newly emerging viruses be the next HIV and threaten us all? For many years, I've been giving a talk called Revenge of the Rainforest. And you know, people always thought that it was an interesting topic, but certainly not relevant to those uh, living uh, safely in Wisconsin or Ohio or Indiana. But uh, there are lots of examples of diseases, rainforest diseases, becoming major public health problems in the rest of the world. In 1999, a deadly disease emerged in the U.S. that had never been seen before in the Western Hemisphere. It was West Nile virus. Nobody had even remotely imagined West Nile coming to the United States. I mean, here is, is a disease, its entire ecology involves the Nile Sudan, uh, Upper Egypt, um, swamp lands, a very specific set of birds and mosquitoes indigenous to that ecology. No one could have imagined it could emerge in the concrete jungle of Manhattan and Queens and become a problem that now is seen in almost every single state in the United States um, and carried by indigenous mosquitoes and indigenous birds. Partly because it was so unexpected, West Nile proved difficult to identify. It began with a rash of encephalitis cases in New York, then hundreds of dead crows began to appear. But it took time to connect the two. Until 2002, Dan Scanlon was a vigorous man. Then he and his wife Betty were both bitten by a mosquito. Dan collapsed. I was in the hospital in a coma. And when I woke up, I found out that she was in the hospital um, with apparently the same thing. Uh, they performed a, a spinal tap on Betty, too. And uh, I, it was inconclusive, but uh, all the symptoms are there exactly. And the doctor said, yeah, she definitely had West Nile virus. And uh, I never saw her conscious again. Dan's wife, Betty, was killed by West Nile virus. Dan himself was left badly disabled. And now watch yourself in the mirror, really getting tall. The virus can cause inflammation of the brain, disorientation, and paralysis. In 2006, West Nile killed 177 people in the U.S., mostly elderly, very young, or with weakened immune systems. Fortunately, the odds of catching it are small. The disease is spread by mosquitoes, and one of them could even have brought West Nile to the U.S. All it takes is an infected bug to stow away on an international flight. Now, West Nile is carried by birds in the United States. As they follow their migratory routes, they ferry the virus with them. One recent study indicated it's had a devastating impact on birds, killing hundreds of thousands. And now that West Nile is established in our ecosystem, it's probably here to stay.